Today I'm going to be making a kind of artisanal, I don't know if that's a word that would accurately describe a 3D printing thing, but I'm making an artisanal version of my little retro laptop here. So there's a decent chance that you're familiar with this little retro laptop I built. And I actually have these on Etsy as a digital download for like 10 bucks. Now, my big kind of problem I had with these was I designed them around this Micro Center Inland uh, 47 key, 40% 40 keyboard. Now, unfortunately, unless you live near a Micro Center, chances are you're not going to be able to get this. So today I am planning to remedy that and build another one of these laptops, but with a more accessible keyboard. So I will quickly go ahead and unbox this. I got this off AliExpress, and this is actually just a PCB. So I will have to actually go ahead and build a keyboard out of this. But fortunately, I do have a bunch of switches. And I don't know what I'll do for keycaps, but I will probably just end up 3D printing some or borrowing some from another keyboard or something like that. Pretty much perfect. So I won't actually have to do anything to the width of the case, which I am rather pleased about. Now, really, the next thing I'm going to need to do is probably just put this on some graph paper and plot the points of where I can actually map this from. So it's the two out here, the two out here, and the one center. Now, I don't really often show my process because I don't know if that's something people like to watch or not because it can get kind of boring and tedious. But I do have these nice graph paper pieces, and you can see they're... You, well, you can't tell, but the paper is really nice and smooth. And I like using these sometimes just to figure out where my mounting holes are. So for this scenario, really all I'm going to do is just place this down. Unfortunately, this is a completely flat surface, so I'm not going to have to worry about that. <laughs> So you can see here that I have a test mount for this AliExpress keyboard PCB and I'm going to go ahead and print this now. So I've become a little impatient and <laughs> I'm just going to try screwing it in while it's still on the printer since that does provide a rather secure base um, so it doesn't move. <laughs> So we can just real quick see that when I put this on the ground and the base that the keyboard is mounted on right now is the same height as the floor of the laptop. So it is pretty much seemingly close to on par with the height and rake of the Micro Center keyboard, which is bodes well. Now that I know the keyboard fits these mounting points, I can kind of just go ahead and actually build the base of the laptop that is going to be for this specific keyboard. I want to do this laptop in more of a fun color theme. So I have dark blue filament from Inland, which is Micro Center's sort of store brand, if you will. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and use this. I think it will actually look kind of cool in a dark blue. And maybe I'll get some green going in there for like another hackerish style build. Mm -hmm. Dark blue is all loaded, and as you can see, I think it looks pretty cool. So I'm now just gonna go ahead and print this thing. And here's a little kind of taste of the color. <laughs> so I was just kind of prototyping what height this would need to be to have the keys at the same general height as the inland keyboard. And in doing that, I just 3D printed a keycap in the fun kind of cool play texture and I like that so much that I'm almost sort of switching directions right now in the whole point of this video and I'm going to go ahead and entirely 3D print the rest of the parts for this sans the actual switches so as you can see right here if I try to pan smoothly over and show you that is a build plate <laughs> full of kind of reflective cool keys 
And since this is a small 40% keyboard, I can actually kind of get, get away with just printing all the keys. So that's what I'm going to do now. Now, I don't actually remember how many keys are on here because <laughs> I did this all last night, but I'm just going to gonna loosen them and then I should. Yep. All right. So this is kind of cool. These are really of decent quality and I'm happy about that. Now, I might actually use a Cricut machine for the first time to get the letters drawn on these. All right, let's just deposit our keys on this table. There you go. All right, this is super cool. I really like these. I know it's probably hard to see, but... Oh, no, you can totally see it right there. It's just got such a cool surface because of the build plate here. I am very excited about this. I am now printing the plate for the keyboard, which since it didn't come with the PCB I purchased, I just quickly drew one up in CAD and now I'm going to print it and I'll probably just time lapse this print since it's only about 30 minutes. <music> Alright, so seeing a quick test of this, it comes up a little bit when it actually makes contact with the keycaps, or excuse me, the switches. So I will probably end up making it thicker. Then I realized after the fact that <laughs> I made an error here, so I will have to go ahead and remedy this. But other than that, I am happy with it and having this. It definitely will just make things look a little better once it's in the case. All right, I printed a bit of a better or a thicker plate for the keyboard. And you can see it looks really cool from this build plate, even though you probably won't be able to see it. <laughs> and uh, what I also did, because I had made an error, is I made a little 2U shift, which I think is pretty darn cool. And if I put it in there, we can see the keycaps are starting to look cool. All right, after a lengthy period of time, I got all the keycaps on, and I think this thing, <laughs> it looks absolutely awesome. And I say that meaning the actual plate underneath too, because the textures match. I love this. To be honest with you, I don't want to put this in the laptop. I would like to just build this around for this and keep it as a desktop keyboard. And I don't think I want to put letters on them because they look so much cooler like this. Now. I will just for the sake of, I suppose, consistency and continuity, go ahead and mount this in the laptop just to kind of see how it looks because, okay, that, that actually looks pretty cool too. <laughs> but I may have to, um, I don't know, but this is, I'm very happy. I'm very, this needs kind of a stabilizer, but I can find a way around that. And it feels really good too. All right, so I decided to print the bezel for the laptop on this cool plate as well not when I say cool plate I mean the texture is interesting not it's a cool plate which is an actual thing and I think it'll look pretty cool on the bezel of the laptop maybe a bit um, flashy or flamboyant if you will but I think for this one-off one it'll be pretty cool Now, I wasn't really able to time lapse because I may or may not have forgot to record it, <laughs> but I have this just kind of like not for real mounted, but the keyboard itself is actually all screwed in and stuff. And I was just kind of trying to do like a typing comparison between this one and the original laptop. And the feeling of this is interesting. I'll just kind of let you hear it versus so this one these are lighter but it feels a lot clickier in terms of sound and things like that so but honestly for something that's a lot of 3d printing involved here just in terms of the keyboard plate and the actual keys themselves i think this is pretty cool i'm very happy with it so far
man, this looks so good. I love this color combination. Oh my, I gotta, I'm sorry, but I'm too impatient. I need to, I need to see this immediately. <laughs> oh yeah, I love that. I absolutely am very, very much liking this. So I have partially disassembled everything just to place all of the components in. And being that I do not have enough for two laptops, meaning like the battery power stuff and things like that, I did borrow some from this laptop, but that is okay because I do plan to purchase more of these components. <music> So here's a quick uh, <laughs> embarrassing update for you. After really being quite frustrated that the screen just was not getting signal, I went as far as to just pull the screen out of the other laptop to make sure. And in doing that, <laughs> I realized that I had this wrong. I did not have the contacts facing the contacts, if you will, or however you want to parse what I just said to make sense. So. Um, embarrassingly, I need to just remedy that, and then I will try once again to run this. <laughs> Whoops. I am extremely happy to report that it is all fired up and running. So now, what I'm going to do is just put this bezel on, and this is bad practice because I don't have the bezel pins in, but I really just want to see what this thing... Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love this. I absolutely... I know it's kind of hard to see probably with all the lights on, might turn one or two off just to get a better look. Eh, that's too dark. But it really, I love the texture from this build plate. That really made all the difference here. So now if I just, I can kind of go ahead and just put this back cover on as it has these little pins. So it'll kind of smush into place there and stay. And yeah, I mean, and it will run on battery power as well since it's pretty much had all of its things borrowed from the other one. But this really, I love the way this looks. <laughs> I don't, now, I think the big problem is, well, there's two problems. These hinges are a little wonky, but I printed them differently and I didn't tighten them fully, so we'll just ignore that right now. I don't know that I know where these keys are, so I'm just gonna have to map it from this one. <laughs> Oh, it worked. <laughs> I mean, obviously it would have, but I didn't know like how this thing's programmed or anything like that. So that is awesome. And we see that I have made an error here because this uh, Raspberry Pi was configured for actually having a mouse because this one had the trackball on it. But um, this is awesome. I am now going to kill the lights because I want to show off the, the keyboard a little more and just the backlight that it has because I really am enamored with having been able to just print keys like this. So if I kind of scoop this over, maybe we'll move to a darker location. Now here's just a quick unsteady look as I want to just kind of show off the keyboard. So it looks great the way just the backlights kind of sweep in an RGB fashion. And from the back, I mean, in kind of a dark setting, this thing just looks black. But when you go near it, you can see the finish on the keys. And if I was to shut it, you can also there definitely see the finish on the rest of the laptop. So this is just kind of a more supposed to be like sleek looking laptop thing like that. And uh, so, yeah, I guess today we're making, let's see if I can get a thumbnail out of this. Right, a little 3D printed. <laughs> I hate YouTuber thumbnails, but I do do them now because they do seem to work. So, all right. 